Weight matchup between John Jones and Joel Romero. Well, more often than not, when he's fought, he is left with some bonus money. Here is the perennial middleweight contender, Yoel Soldier of God Romero. A lot of signature wins, not the least of which was going into Madison Square Garden and knocking out Chris Weidman at UFC 205. Yoel Romero back in the octagon tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. A man with all the skills and the accolades to show for it, the future Hall of Famer and former UFC light heavyweight champion, Johnny Bones Jones. No fighter, no champion in UFC history has had a more difficult strength of schedule. John Jones dominant every step of the way. His future undeniably is in the UFC Hall of Fame. John Jones, in my opinion, is the very best at utilizing his reach advantage. If you watch John's fights, he is the very best at keeping fighters where he can hit them, but they can't hit him. And if they get close enough to get a hold of him, he has some incredible wrestling talent to go with that striking. Tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Romero is 10 years his senior. Jones is four inches taller. He will have an 11 inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting at a Coconut Creek, Florida, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero! And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA! Presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. With 11 career wins by knockout, four of those coming in round number one. Here is the UFC middleweight champion, Yoel Romero. He's won his last nine, and remarkably at 40 years old, remains the man to beat at 185 pounds. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight is the wrestling and the takedowns of John Jones. John Jones can do it all, but his wrestling is quite special. Oh. 
That was a big left hand he connected with. Oh, solid jab. And now he lands a combination. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Good control, postures up. He gets his back. And he passes, side control. He moves to the mounted crucifix now. This is nasty. Three minutes remain in the run. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Working from the mounted crucifix. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's moved back into side control. Oh, that was a hard one. He's the right hand from Romero. Under two minutes to go. Nasty ground and pound for the win. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. Here we see it again. Boom! And he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the very first round. We play the winner by knockout, Joel Soldier of God. All right, so the soldier of God, Joel Romero, emerges victorious here tonight. Just a next-level athlete. And even when the opponent seems to know what's coming, more often than not, they just can't stop it. So congratulations to Romero and the rest of the crew at American Top Team.